Brave Star is an American space western animated television series. The original episodes aired from September 1987 to February 1988 in syndication. It was created simultaneously with a collection of action figures. Brave Star was the last animated series produced by Filmation and Group W Productions to be broadcast. Bravo! A spin-off series was in production along with Bugtsburg when the studio closed down. Reruns of the show aired on Cubo Night Owl from 2010 to 2013, and reruns air on the Retro Television Network from 2010 to present. Background The idea for Brave Star began with Tex Hex, his chief adversary. Tex Hex was created by Filmation staff artists in 1984, during the development of Filmation's Ghostbusters. Lou Sherimer found the character fascinating and pulled Tex Hex from the Ghostbusters cast. He asked Arthur Nadal, Filmation's vice president for creative affairs, and art director John G. O. U. S. D. to develop a science fiction western around the character. As the concepts took shape, staff writer Bob Ford fleshed out the writer's guide and eventually co-wrote the feature film script for Brave Star, The Legend with writer Steve Hayes. Plot The episodes combine elements of science fiction and western genres. It is set in the 23rd century on a multicultural desert planet called New Texas. As on other Filmation series, a moral lesson is told at the end of each episode. One notable episode is The Price, in which a boy buys a drug called Spin, becomes addicted to it, and dies of an overdose. Setting The setting in most episodes is New Texas, a planetary system orbiting three suns, 600 pasks from Earth. Much of the food and water supply is imported. The majority of land is desert. But there is one wetland area, which is the home of epicats. Water is also found in cactus like aquapod plants. The chief export is cream, a red mineral used as a fuel source, and often therefore the prize of conflicts among characters. Implications exist that New Texas was colonized for cream, but will remain inhabited even after the mines are exhausted. The native civilization of New Texas are the prairie people, who operate most of the Cream mines. Fort Cream, a mechanized town capable of armoring itself. Brave Star's base of operation. Star Peak, a mountain where Shaman lives, concealing the spacecraft in which he arrived on New Texas, atop a Cream deposit. Stone Canyon, a large mining canyon. Also the location of some crime. Peaceful Valley a large agrarian land. The Hexagon, fortress for most of the villains. The Bad Lands, the inhospitable land surrounding the Hexagon. Two episodes are set on Earth, where the city of London resembles a modernized Victorian England, including a time-traveling Sherlock Holmes. Equals alien and human species equals, epicats, gigantic non-humanoid felines who live near the only wetlands on New Texas. Avianoid. The two-headed criminal Two-Face comes from an avianoid species, and had half of his body augmented with cybernetic replacements, making him a cyborg. Another avianoid is the Signian Ambassador, who resembles an ostrich. Bronchosaurs, dinosaur-like civilization, of which Stampede is the last living representative. Dingoes, coyote-like humanoids, who often appear as minor antagonists, amenable to a peaceful lifestyle. Equestroids, cyborg equines capable of assuming human attributes at will. 3030 is the only survivor of this colony. Fufta, pacifist sheep like creatures, often targeted by enemy civilizations. Humans, a variety of ethnic groups including Native Americans Brave Star and Shaman, and the British Sherlock Holmes. Krang, cat like humanoids. Warlike and therefore opposed to Brave Star and his ideals. Porcinoid, Hawkeye comes from a porcine humanoid species. Prairie people, anthropoid prairie dog like creatures, native to New Texas, who take pleasure in mining and in the operation of machines. Reptilianoid, antagonists Vipra and Diamondback are both reptilian and humanoid, and display behaviors of both. Regelian, drink seller Handlebar is a member of this race of green skinned humanoids with bright orange hair and superhuman strength. Sand Walrus, antagonist Sandstorm comes from this red-skinned humanoid species, and has a number of special powers. Salakos, 
non-humanoid cattle-like species. Characters equals heroes equals Marshall Brave Star, the title character, a Native American who can call upon the power of spirit animals, enabling him briefly to perform superhuman feats. The spirit animal powers are eyes of the hawk, enhances his vision and can also grant him an aerial view of the adjacent area. Ears of the wolf gives him superhuman hearing. Strength of the bear gives him superhuman strength. Speed of the puma gives him superhuman speed. It should be noted that the strength of the bear grants him strength sufficient to destroy stone or support steel bridges, whereas the speed of the puma allows him speeds akin to comic book characters Quicksilver and the Flash. In addition to his animal powers, he has electronic equipment such as a computerized visor and a two-way radio. Brave Star also carries a neutralizer pistol and a transfreezer rifle, and the badge on his shirt can shield him at need. Although called Marshall, and champion of justice, he usually serves as a mediator in any conflict, and often seeks peaceful resolution to every problem, unless confronted by the series' periodic villains. Angus McBride, the father of Judge J.B. McBride. Himself a former Korean prospector who now operates Fort Korean's newspaper. Billy Bob, a human Korean prospector. Commander Karen Kane, a former Star Marine who retired after marrying Angus McBride. She is the stepmother of J.B. Like Angus, she has a Scottish accent. Deputy Fuzz, a member of the Prairie People. Brave Star affectionately calls him Lyle Partner. Fuzz is typically a figure of comic relief, but also plays more serious roles at need. The first of the Prairie People to befriend humans. Diamondback, a snake-like humanoid Korean prospector who owns the Korean deposit underneath Star Peak along with his human colleague Billy Bob. Doc Clayton, the town's doctor. Frequently an ally of Brave Stars. Handlebar, a hulking, green-skinned bartender and former space pirate from the Rigel Star system, with a bright orange handlebar moustache and a Brooklyn accent. He mostly serves Brave Star and 3030 a drink called Sweetwater. Other times he acts as a reserve law enforcement officer. He has a pet cyborg steer named Rampage. Judge J.B. McBride, Fort Cream's principal judge and lawyer. Brave Star's ally, consultant, and occasional paramour. In battle, she uses an electronic gavel given to her by the Prairie people. Long Arm John, a law enforcement officer with a sophisticated prosthetic arm. Molly, courier aboard a strato stage a mechanized stagecoach traveling above ground. Occasionally Molly has a security guard to blast away enemies. Molly is also capable of piloting space vehicles. Shaman, an otherwise unnamed mystic, capable of teleportation, time travel, psychokinesis, and near-omniscient clairvoyance. Brave Star's mentor and foster father. 3030, Brave Star's cyborg stallion, capable of assuming a bipedal form at will. His principal weapon is the Sarah Jane a large blunderbuss from which he projects directed energy. He is more belligerent than Brave Star, and will often prefer fights to resolutions. Equals villains equals, Barker, a little coyote. Billy the droid, a purple robot with a power to shoot energy bolts from his hands and a gripping arm from his chest. Cactus Head, a short robot equipped with two energy cannons. Often seen as the comic relief and used as a spy. Goldshuth, an overweight coyote that usually leads other coyotes in the battle. Hawkty, a humanoid pig dressed in a Union Army uniform. He seemed to be strong, and used bowlers to capture or bind his victims. Howler, another coyote. He can assume human form. Krang, humanoid felines with green armor and German accents. A periodic enemy. Outlaw Scuzz, Texas cigar smoking henchman. A cousin of Deputy Fuzz. Apparently the only prairie person to practice crime. Queen Singlish, a woman that commandeered an entire island, which floats through space. She constantly wants slaves to assist her. But is defeated by the prairie people. Sandstorm, a red, reptilian anthropoid who can exhale giant clouds of sand. His kind are sometimes called sand walruses, and are native to New Texas. 
he can also use his sand to put people to sleep or create sand creatures. Stampede, chief antagonist, and sponsor to all other villains. A monstrous, partly skeletal bronchosaur, and apparently the last of his kind. Stampede seldom appears in battle directly, but is usually the source of his subordinates' evil plans, and is the archenemy of Brave Star's mentor, Shaman. Tex Hex, Brave Star's rival, opponent, and counterpart, distinguished by a withered appearance and lavender skin. Stampede's junior partner. Credited, in the feature film, with the discovery of Creamon New Texas. Thunderstick, a stuttering robot with a directed energy cannon built into his arm. Two-Face, a two-headed cyborg bird. Two-Face Dingo Dan, one of Texas coyotes with a notionally Aussie accent. Dan has the ability to take on a human appearance, but would often forget to change his distinctive fancy hat. Vipra, a serpentine female villain who has the power to hypnotize people. Assistant to Tex Hex, but envious of his high rank among the villains. Episode list, PC equals production code number. Action figures and other merchandise, in 1986, a year before the TV series premiered, Mattel released an action figure line based on the Filmation cartoon series. These figures were large for the time at nearly 8 inches tall and came in a windowed box with artwork similar to that of their Masters of the Universe contemporaries. Each figure had a unique action feature and was packaged with one or more cream nuggets. Marshall Brave Star and Tex Hex were also packaged with a laser fire backpack which shot infrared beams and had space age sound effects. Such backpacks were individually available a Euro blue for heroes and black for villains. Other figures available were Handlebar, Sandstorm, 3030, Skulls, Fuzz, Colonel Borobot, and Thunderstick. The neutral laser weapon, which worked with the infrared technology, and Fort Cream Playset also made their way to toy shelves. A second series of figures was designed but never produced. This included Dingo Dan, Judge JB, Long Arm John, Rampage, and the Star Hawk vehicle. A Brave Star video game was released for Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, and ZX Spectrum. It is a side-scrolling shooter game. Various other forms of Brave Star merchandise made their way to the market including a Color Forms adventure set, Ladybird storybook, pillowcase, sticker album, and water gun, among others. A comic book series, Brave Star in 3D, also began under Blackthorn Publishing in January 1987. Home video and DVD releases, Brave Star made its way to VHS in compilations such as Filmation All-Star Theatre and Sampler Collection. Individual episodes of the series found their way to shelves as late as 1989. BCI Eclipse released the entire series on DVD in Region 1 for the very first time in 2007-2008. The series was released in two volume sets, with the first volume featuring several bonus features. As of 2009, these releases have been discontinued and are out of print as BCI Eclipse ceased operations. On December 10, 2010, Mill Creek Entertainment announced that it had acquired the rights from Classic Media to re-release the series on DVD in North America. They subsequently released a complete series set as well as two single-volume releases on May 10, 2011. See also, Brave Star, The Movie, The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. References BraveStarFGuides.com Retrieved October 28, 2005 Filmation Associates Brave Star. The Big Cartoon Database. Retrieved October 28, 2005. External links. Brave Star at the Internet Movie Database. Brave Star at TV.com. Brave Star at FGuides.com. Bravestar.org. Tunapedia page. Bravestar at Hulu.